<laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm playing with filters. Now I have to figure out how to get the filter off. <laughs> okay, or should I just do the whole video like this? What do you think? <laughs> you think we should just do the whole video like this? <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's kind of fun. All right, let me get that off of there. I shouldn't have done any filters. <laughs> Where is this playing? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Well, welcome back. Happy New Year and all that good stuff. Oh, I need to put on my mic. There we go. Oh, I got to figure out how to get rid of those now. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of cute, wasn't it, Jean? I'll have to... Um, I'll have to play with it sometime a little more. <laughs> and I didn't even know you could do that. I just saw a new button down here and I thought, what is that? <laughs> have some fun with it, right? So welcome back, everybody. It's actually kind of exciting to uh, be doing a live video again. It feels like it's been forever. So, but I noticed that, um, <clears throat> excuse me, lots of people have been taking a break. I think it's good to get your creative juices flowing. And we were so busy here and in the store. So it was kind of nice to um, have some fun. What does this do? What, the, uh, the glass thing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> does all kinds of crazy stuff, you know? <laughs> I don't know. There's so many cool little things on there. I could have had a whole lot of fun with that jean. Been really silly. Hey, Tammy, how you doing? So I got jean and jean. I just noticed there's two different jeans. All right, so um, did everybody have a nice holiday season? Oh, what does it do? I don't know. It just puts filters on. Like, did you see it when I was doing it? Let's see. I'll do another funny one. Um, there we go. <laughs> How's that one? Should I do that? Um, there's some. <laughs> there's some fun ones. Let's see. Oh, that's kind of creepy. Um, oh, I, there. I'm a princess. I should have this one. <laughs> it gives me pink lips too. <laughs> oh my goodness oh this is fun oh look at this one <laughs> see I could just do a whole show of this just being silly or I could be a bunny rabbit oh <laughs> oh that's funny <laughs> these are ridiculous I could always just sit here every day and play with this yeah I could just <laughs> I'm doing this one what do you think <laughs> <laughs> oh my god this one is my absolute favorite <laughs> I like the eyebrows all right I have to go back and all right it's doing crazy things all right there we go <laughs> oh my gosh hey Patricia how you doing <laughs> well that was kind of fun <laughs> now I'm all red and <laughs> that was fun playing with that Oh, got to have a little silly in our lives, right? I think it's good to laugh and have some silly. So I hope everybody had a really good Christmas season and everybody's sort of, you know, back at her as it, as it were. Um, what we've noticed here is that people like to buy jewelry here. You know, I thought that everybody would just come in to make it, but no, people want to buy my jewelry, so I have to get busy. So I just made nine pairs of earrings right, you know, for five minutes before the um, show started because... I just need some more jewelry in the store. So I'm gonna start making some more things and we're getting ramped up for my trip to Tucson. I can hardly wait. Um, that's always the highlight of my year. I drive down so I can kind of get in my head and take a little bit of time and it's a two week trip for me. So it's a lot of work, big long drive to drive from here to Tucson, but I love it. So I get to go down there and stress out about how much money I'm spending <laughs> buy tons of beads but I'm looking forward to that so maybe I'll try and do what I did last year um, and do some shows on the road we'll see so but I leave in two weeks so we'll do one more next week for sure and then we'll see what happens because on that night I'm usually in um, on that Wednesday I'll be driving during the day but usually at night time then I think I'm in Salt Lake City that night so thank you Roxy that's very nice to hear I love our store too, and I'm glad you like it too. It's a we're, we just love it here. It's such a great new store, and it's and it's good. So, anyway, so I thought that um, this is so not my thing what I'm going to do, but um, it seems to be a lot of people's things that, that come into this store. So I am going to do um, a chakra necklace. I don't know. 
I don't really know what all this stuff is about, but it's a very big part of our business right now. All the healing energies and all the stuff that the stones bring, so that and the aromatherapy and all that sort of stuff is very, very big in my store right now. So I thought, well, I'm going to do a little necklace. Um, Tierra Cast just came out with these fabulous new um, guru beads. So it's so most guru beads have three holes. So they you have your ones that go this way, and then you have to try and like finagle your strings and stuff to go down. And people really struggle with it, including me. So um, this new one is really great because you just string through, and then it's got a bail on the bottom. So it's kind of like a bail guru bead. So it's awesome so that's what we're going to use today and then a couple other things i just kind of grabbed every one of the stones we have all the stones that we set out for the cho chakra colors and i actually brought a, a cheater sheet here to tell me what they all are for so i can maybe look up at that and explain a little bit as i go along because i said like i said it's not really my thing i don't really um follow all this chakra stuff but i know a lot of people do and um i thought i most people make bracelets so i thought i would try and do a necklace so um, yes, Roxy, that would. <laughs> Where do you live? Are you local here? We actually have lots of people kind of walk in when I'm doing lives. So, you know, if you do it and I'm doing a live, come and say behind me. So cause it's always nice to meet customers. One of um, the girls that watches um, all the time was just in the store. So she said, oh, she's going to go home and watch it once she gets home. So it's always nice to meet people that I see on here, which is, which is great. So, all right. So I'm just going to tilt you down. And I'll kind of explain what uh, what I'm using here today. Yeah. Oh, you're the one doing the... Oh, right. Okay. In pit. So you're not too far away. Hey, Deb. How you doing? You guys are welcome to come in here anytime, any time. Any old time. All right. Let me get this. Oh, goodness. I got to figure... I, it's been so many weeks since I've done one. I got to remember what I'm doing here. Okay. How's that? Can we see? I still want to have a better setup, but one day... You know, I watch some people's videos and they're so, you know, glitzy and everything and mine's just kind of like, whatever. Okay, so what I do know a little bit about is that there are um, seven, seven different chakras. And so the first one is your, your crown, which is like you know, sort of purple stones and things like that. So you can use amethyst, um, you can use, um, what I'm going to use today is garnet. So that's going to be the first one that we're going to use. And the next one is, or if I got these backwards, no, I got them backwards. That's the other way around. Sorry. There we go. We're going to use amethyst. So that's the first one that we're going to use. And then the next one is your third eye. And you can use things that are what they call indigo. So um, you can use even amethyst, but you can use black obsidian, purple fluorite. We're going to use sodalite today. And then the next one is your throat chakra. And so you want to use blue stones like aquamarine or turquoise or lapis and we're going to use a, a blue sort of an aqua quartz that we've got here today oh thanks deb i missed you guys too it's always nice to see everybody hey carla you made it yay all right and the next one is your heart chakra and you want to use things like green calcite or green tourmaline or jade you can even use root rose quartz so it's not green but for some reason you can use that but we're going to use a green jade today and then your solar plexus, you want to use yellow things, so citrine, um, topaz, and so we're going to use calcite because that's one that you can use for that. And then your um, sacral, I guess it is, is your um, anything in orange, so carnelian, uh, coral, and some moonstones, so we're going to use carnelian today. And then the last one um, is your root chakra, which is the reds, and so that's where I'm going to use the, the garnet. So. You know, it doesn't, I don't know if it really matters, but a lot of people have, um, you know, their tried and true things that they use. Um, this is what we use in the store, and everybody seems to really like that. So, I'm, like I said, I'm also going to use that um, Tierra Cast um, Guru Bead, and I've got some little Tierra Cast spacers here. They're like little nuggets, which are really fun. And then I have some stuff, because I wasn't too sure how I was going to um, finish it, so... Happy New Year, Jen. Thank you very much. And same to you. And I'm glad to see you here. All right. So I'm going to use some Softlex today. Um, that's kind of our go-to um, beading wire that we use in the store. And I'm going to use the medium today. And I'm not too sure how long I'm going to make this. So I'm going to take off a little whack of it. And I'm also going to be using some lava today because lava is huge right now. So I'm going to finish it off with some lava. So this is going to just be a stringing project, but 
I wanted to show these really nice guru beads because see you just pop it on and you've already got your guru bead in the center so if you wanted to make a beaded tassel or put a tassel on or whatever you wanted to do it's super easy to do with these new tear castings they're on our website under new findings I will put a link after um, we have there's two different styles and I will put those on I'll link them up after with the um, uh, video all right so I'm going to start off with my crown chakras on either side I think I'm going to kind of keep this symmetrical and then I'm going to put one of these little spacers in between do I want one on either side I'm going to just try something and see if I like it better with one on each side I will use a whole lot more but I might like it better this is what designing is all about trying things seeing what works and what doesn't work right and I never know what I'm going to like. So see how I've got one that's got two spacers and one that has one? I like the one with two spacers. So that's why it's always good to play with things. So is anybody making anything really interesting right now? So these are all eight millimeter stones. Um, but you can use, you know, six millimeter, whatever you want. It just seems like right now, eight millimeter is kind of the go-to size that everybody is going for. I'm not sure why, but it is the most popular size of stone um, in the probably the last year. It's hard to even get eight millimeter <laughs> stuff in right now. So, <clears throat> hey, Cindy. Okay, so this is what we've got happening so far. So it's looking kind of cute. Excuse me, I have to cough. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, so now we're up to the jade. So you can see this is going to be sim sim nice and simple and quick. And then I'm going to just kind of embellish it a little bit after. So, yeah, I'm liking that. That looks kind of cute so far. Oh, you're doing lots of the Celtic knot bracelet. Awesome. Carrier bead necklace. Just got me. What is a carrier bead necklace, Deb? I wonder if you can explain that. I have not. Carrier bead necklace. Why am I drawing a complete and utter blank on that? <laughs> I can't even think of what that would be. You'll have to tell us. You guys are always coming up with new fun things. Uh, Connie, should I go the other way so that the crown is... Um, probably. Yeah, you know what? I could go the other way. Does it matter though? So the crown is up at... Yeah, maybe it does. You know, see? Well, I'll just do it that way then. Because see, I don't know enough about this stuff. But I will listen to you guys and I will go the other way. All right. That'll only take two seconds. Thank you for that uh, little tidbit of information there, Connie. So Connie, you're the Connie that was in here yesterday, right? You guys all saw what I, um, what I posted. So we'll start backwards here. We'll start with the red. Um, Connie had a really cute pair of earrings that she whipped up. They were just so adorable. I love them. I want to make a pair. because so I think they're really, really cute. So yeah, so I guess that makes sense to have the the root at the bottom right see this is I, I don't know enough about this stuff I was just going by colors oh cool yes I'd love to see the pictures Deb lucite braid leather earrings oh lucite that's it I'm not sure what that is okay Sherry I will um well, hello, Anna from Trinidad. Thank you for joining me today. This, that's awesome. I think you might be one of the furthest people away. Okay, so the first one I'm using is your root chakra, which is your reds. So I'm using garnet today. And then I'm going to go to the, the sacral, which is your oranges. And so I'm going to be using um, carnelian. So I've got a carnelian next to my, my red one. So we'll go, we'll go the other way around. And then next I'm going to go the solar plexus, which is your yellows. So we're using yellow calcite. So see, it didn't take much time to turn that around. Yeah. 
Yarning too. Well, that's great, Anna. What time is it over there right now? Okay, and then we're going to go for the heart chakra, which is your greens, which is um, we're going to be using jade today. So I'm going to put a jade on each side. Whoops, I forgot my spacer there. Whew, I hate it when I forget spacers because nothing worse when you get the whole thing put together and they realize you forgot something and then you got to take the whole dang thing apart. <laughs> I'm trying to remain focused. Is anybody else having a hard time sleeping? Goodness. I, f I swear to God I can't sleep at all. Hey, Wendy. So nice to see you. 4.48 p.m. Okay, so you're not too far ahead of us. A little bit, but not too bad. Okay, so now I'm going to use the throat chakra. So that is your blues, things like aquamarine or lapis, that kind of stuff. Um, I'm using um, an aqua blue quartz today. Sometimes people want the exact kind of stone that will give them the energy, and sometimes people just go for the colors. So it depends on what, you know, what you're doing. Where did that go? Went flying somewhere. Um, today I'm just working with the colors that we have. Okay, the next I'm going to do the third eye. So those are things like your purple fluorite, black obsidian, or um, sodalite. So we're going to use the sodalite today. And again, I think it's kind of nice to do a necklace because we see so many chakra bracelets, but not too many chakra earrings. Or sorry, necklaces. And then the last one is your crown chakra, which are your purples. So I'm going to use, um, I've got some matte amethyst here. So they've just taken that and um, and put a, it's not even a coating, they sort of like almost like sandblast it to get that matte finish on there. So there we go, it looks really pretty too. Oh Jean, yeah, <laughs> I'm the same. How much are those stone beads? Um, well, they all vary in price. These are anywhere from 70 to a dollar per piece. We do have a lot of our beads online, and if you spend uh, $100, you get the next $100 for free in stones, which is good. So, so there's what the stones are going to look like. Let's see if I can tip that up a little bit. Isn't that pretty? So that's your, your chakra colors, which I think look really fabulous, really nice. So now, um, because uh, so many people are mixing um, chakra stones with lava, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to just put some 8 millimeter lava. Now, if, you've, if you do shop, a lot of people buy our stones on our website. Um, we just lowered the price to um, from $25.99 for a strand down to $15.99, so it's much more affordable. So um, way, way more affordable. So now if you are using the, the lava, this is where you can put your aromatherapy. So you can have an aromatherapy chakra necklace. So now all I'm going to do is just, uh, I'm not going to string any beads or anything fancy around here. I, um, I was going to put a larger one here and then put something around it, but I couldn't find what I wanted this morning. It's crazy. I have a whole bead store and I still can't find what I want. So I thought, you know what, I'm just not going to fret. I'm going to just work with what I've got. And when I'm in Tucson, I'm going to find more of what I'm looking for. So... Now I just have to decide how long I want this necklace. So I'm just going to see if you guys are saying anything. Okay. So yeah, Denise, um, was it you, Denise? Yes. It, so each one of these stones, so they're like $1.25 and 70. So there's $2, $3, $4.50, $5.20, $5.50, $5.50, $5.50, $5.50, $5.50, $5.50, $5.50, $5.50, $5.50, $5.50, $5.50, $5.50, $5.50, $5.50, $5.50, $5.50, $5
chakra stones in them and those fly out the door. They're eleven ninety nine a piece or two for nineteen ninety nine. I just lowered the price on those two. And um, you'll notice that if you buy stones here, you'll notice that our prices are going down every time I get an order in. I'm working with my vendors really hard. <laughs> I'm saying, come on people, you got to give me better pricing. My customers want that. So you'll notice that our prices are coming down as I get better, better prices from my vendors. Okay, so we'll see if that's going to be enough. got to find the hole in there. So sometimes these are a little irregular. Did you know that there's fake lava out there? Yeah, there's a lot of fake lava on the market, which is not good. Um, oh, that's good. I'm glad you'll know what these mean then. Oh, is, oh I didn't know that, Denise, that, um, that the lava is sacred to you. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Well, thank you for mentioning that. I had no idea. Okay, so that's what we've got for the necklace, and I'm just gonna see if I can get that around me. Not me, because I've got a huge honking neck. But I think I'm gonna add a couple more on, like three more on each side, because I want it to be a little bit longer. It's not meant to be a shorter necklace. So Denise, can you, um, is there, do, you do you know why they're, they're um, sacred to natives? That's, that interests me. Speaking of native, I, um, I found out many years ago that my grandfather was Native American Indian. And um, so we've always wanted to find out a little bit more of our fa about our family, you know, tree and everything. Of course, everybody's gone. So I did, I'm going to do the, um, you know, the, the, the DNA testing. I sent away for it, and I'm really excited to see what, what I am. <laughs> and it, what made me do it was I um, had to go for a medical test recently and they asked me what my heritage was and I said, I don't know. We're near North American about five generations back with uh, the only thing we know is that there's maybe some Welsh, maybe, and there's some Native Americans. So it's kind of interesting to find out. So, <laughs> Yes, I think there is Caroline, but I'm not exactly sure how they, oh, Caroline, Caroline, Caroline. Yes, you, I remember you said you were Caroline, not Caroline, right? Nice to see you on here. Um, I'm not too sure how that whole thing works with this. I'm not sure if this, where this is taken from. It might be harvested from a different place, right? Um, oh, you use them in the sweat lodge ceremonies. Oh, well, very cool. Oh, I like that. Thank you, Denise, for explaining that. I really appreciate it. Okay, so one of the things that we got in are these new um, crimp beads. They're just a two by two crimp bead and I don't have them on the website yet because I've got to order in a ton of them because they're from a different company than I've ever used and um, they are the bomb. I tell you they are so nice. They're so clean and they don't leave any um, little burrs and mess and they crimp really nice and you can actually get your heavy uh, soft flex through it. So I am a convert. So I have to order more in. Um, but I will try and get those on the website in the next little bit. Okay, so to do it, we're gonna use just one of the crimping tools. And you know it's got the two little holes, so you've got your first one that looks a bit like a taco, and then your other one that looks just like a little oval. So you wanna make sure when you're crimping that you know I bring it sort of to the front, and I'm gonna use the one that looks like a taco first. And I'm gonna crimp it down, and I make sure my, my, that my wires are separated. And then I rotate it 90 degrees, go to the front one, and give it a good squish. And then if you've squished that hard enough, you can just trim that right off. Nothing bothers me more than when people leave a little bit there and then it kind of will poke out and start niggling you in the back of your neck. And then I give it a little scrunch just to make sure it's not going anywhere. And if you've done it properly, it's not going to fall apart on you. So it's all about doing it the right way. Well, thank you, Caroline. And I am saying it right. It's Caroline, right? I met Caroline on a trip. Um, we were flying out of um, Chicago during a storm. And um, our plane was literally like a roller coaster. And she was sitting next to me. And there was a little bit of squealing from both of us going on. <laughs> and, we re and that was, what, about, I don't know, eight or nine years ago or something like that. And we've remained friends since. And um, it's, it's awesome. I love meeting people that way. So, 
I will never forget that trip. I was never so glad to get off that bloody plane. <laughs> That's probably the scariest plane ride I've ever had in my whole life. But it was made a lot easier with the company that I kept. <laughs> we, had a, we had a good time. <laughs> yes, that's what I remember you saying, Caroline as in Princess or Kennedy. <laughs> see, I remember that all those years ago. Okay, so one of the things you'll notice here, can you see how I've left a little, a little gap here? You see that little bit of extra sticking out? There's a couple reasons. One, if I did it up really tight, you see how it gets all, it won't bend. So you want to leave a little bit to flex, but also I'm going to put these little crimp covers on. I can't, they're hard to show you, but, so there we go. See if I can get that in my hand, or in the tool, I should say. So I'm going to just cover up those crimp covers, because you know they're not that pretty. So the way that I do it is I give it a little squish on the sides, and then it it doesn't quite close, so what you have to do is just kind of come in gently on the top and give it a little tiny squish one way and then the other and back and forth. If you try and do it in one fell swoop, it's going to end up going into a square and not be a nice pretty little round bead. So I'm just really careful with it and see how that just kind of gives it a little bit of a decorative, decorative end there. So I like to put that on the end. Yes, there are fake lava beads. Um, you'll see the colored ones, those are fake lava. They're actually um, like pumice, I believe. Um, but people will tell you they're lava. So we, we tell everybody that they're not real lava when we sell them because we don't want to tell people the wrong thing. Um, but yeah, they're not real lava. Because the only real lava will come either black or gray. Just gotta try and get this. Okay. So now to finish this on the end, I'm going to attach a lobster clasp and I've got some jump rings and I've got some other small jump rings. So I, have a, I always like to put a closed jump ring on one end and there we go. And then I use these little, little jump rings to put it all together because I find them to be nice and strong. So remember when you open up your jump rings that you're going to get a good hand grip on one side because these little suckers are strong. And then I put that on the other side and give it a good twist. You never want to open up that way. Yeah, apparently they're not real lava. That's what I was told. So um, that's just what I was told. All right, so then to close this up, you're going to do the opposite of that. But to get it to sort of get back, you kind of jiggle a little bit and that'll get that in there nicely. So on one side I use my lobster clasp and on the other I use a closed jump ring and I think this one is um, an eight millimeter jump ring and that gives you something to hook your your lobster clasp into. Alright so there's the the necklace part of it finished and then I have to figure out the embellishment part. So already I, even though like you know, I'm not, like I said, these are not generally my thing, but I think that's really kind of cute, just, just simple like that. So now I've got to figure out what I'm going to do on the rest of this. So I have an assortment of things. I just have to get rid of some of this stuff here. Yeah, that's the one thing now that's hard. The, the market is kind of glutted with fake things, so you have to really watch what you're doing. I've even fell victim, fallen victim to it a few times. You know, it's just the way life goes. So, well, thank you. Okay, so I have one of these really lovely um, uh, lotus beads from Tierra Cast, and I think I'm going to put that on there. What I was trying to decide is if I wanted to do a stone in between. So, do I want to do maybe a lava? Because if I, it'll break away from that. So, maybe I'll just wire a lava in there. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. That's a real quick decision. And if I don't like it, I can cut it out, right? That's the thing that I like about making my own jewelry. Um, I'm not sure, honestly, how you can tell. Maybe when I'm away, I will talk to some of my reputable um, people and find out what, what, how you can tell the difference. See, what I think with these ones is they're pretty imperfect. There's some that don't, like they're not always round. They have little chunks and things like that, like lava wood. So to me, that's like, you can see this one bead here. I don't know, can you see that? How it's, it's not completely, it's missing little pieces. That to me is what lava is. 
So you want to make sure that you're buying from somebody reputable. Okay, so I'm going to make a little wrap loop. So I'm just going to make, I just cut a little piece of wire and I've got 22 gauge craft wire. And I'm going to make a wrap loop. So I'm going to go up and over and down and rotate my pliers and then make a little loop. And if you live locally and you just said to yourself, what the heck did you just do? Um, I've got a class called Wire Wrapping 101 that'll teach you how to make a really lovely necklace and learn how to make these wrap loops. So I like to get that in there nice and tight. And I'm going to do nice, neat wraps today. You know, I've been really on this messy wrap kick, but I'm going to do neat ones today because I'm sort of feeling with the whole energy of this thing that I need to be nice and neat and tidy. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I'm kind of digging this, though. So I'll make sure to take a picture of it after. I'll put it on Jean Vieve, our lovely mannequin, and uh, she will be more than happy to model it for us. So I'm going to try one of these beads on either side there too and see how that looks. It's always nice for you guys to be able to see the, well, yeah, that's going to be good. So now on this one, I want to make sure that I'm going the right direction. So I'm going to go opposite to, I think, am I? I don't know what am I going to do. No, the same direction. Disregard. <laughs> All right. So another wrapped loop. So up, over, and down. Now, if you're not good at wrapped loops, I know one way that you can get better at them. Practice. That's the only way that you can get better. Practice, practice, practice. So when is that class? Um, I'm not sure. It is... I don't have it available right in front of me and my staff are busy at the moment so I can't um, ask them but I, I think it's I want to say it's in March maybe the beginning of March Sherry and that is a really good basic class if you live local or if you don't and if somebody like Anna wants to fly all the way over from Barbados come and take a class <laughs> that'd be awesome um, and uh, you'll there's a really nice necklace and you can make the necklace whatever colors and whatever you know um, additional things you want to add onto it. It's just a sort of a sample of what you can make. So this wire is a little soft and it's getting a little bit turned around so I just have to line everything up. All right so so far that's what we've got happening. So I could just stop right there but I think I'm going to so those little nugget beads make things kind of a little more organic looking. Okay, so I was thinking I could hang a tassel. So I've got a really long tassel. What do we think? Do we want to, oh, I like that long tassel on there. Or I got a really teeny tiny one. Meh, I don't know. Or I've got a medium sized one. What do you think? Think long? I like you guys to have some input. I'm thinking the long one. Oh, thank you, Jazzy. March 3rd, 10 a.m. There you go. Yes, the long. All right, I'm thinking so too. Okay, do I have a jump ring that's going to work? I didn't go get any other size ones, so hopefully this one will... If not, I'll have to... Oh, I've got my other kit right here. I knew there was a reason I brought my jump ring box with me. It's nice when my staff are watching and can help me, as they often do. <laughs> thank you, Jazzy. How are you feeling today? I know you weren't feeling very good yesterday. Hopefully better. That stupid sickness is going around and making everybody feel off their game. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to use just a little bit bigger, um, a six millimeter jump ring. And just going to pop that on there. So we're going to keep it kind of simple. We're going to let the chakra stones all sort of speak for themselves. And that's it. Bob's your uncle, we're done. Yeah, <laughs> look at my hands are full of static and so when I'm touching the, look at this, <laughs> I need a little hairspray or something to kind of get that to stop. But there we go, that's our chakra necklace with the lotus and the new guru bead from TRCast. So these are all TRCast products, they're all um, on the website. Um, nice thing about TRCast is it's a really good quality. It's made in America, it doesn't have any crap in it, and it's got uh, really good coatings and everything like that. So there you go, simple, simple. I would, um, I'll, I'll tilt you up now. I would put it on, I've got to move this. Um, but as you can see, I have on a really ridiculous top again today, because you know, 
they don't make plain things for chubby chicks. Well, I'll put it on. We'll see what happens. I don't know. There you go. It doesn't go with this at all. But And if you are of normal size, it would be a lot longer, which I think would be better. But there we go. Something fun today. Something a little different. Hey, Ruth. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, everybody. Kind of a, like it's nice to, to, you know, do something a little bit different than what I'm used to doing. So it's nice to break break free and do something different, right? You always got to try. And that's one of, when my um, staff start working here, they have to sign their life away. And one of the things I say is to, I would like you to um, try something that you're not normally um, used to doing. Um, it's always nice to try something um, that makes you a little bit uncomfortable. So thanks, Jody. I like simple and elegant. Completely not me. <laughs> Oh, this is fun. I'm glad that I was able to come back and do this today. I have really missed them, but you know, I needed to take that time to recharge and, and I've been sort of thinking about some of the things that I can do in the store. And like I said at the beginning, I've got to make a ton of jewelry because we sold jewelry yesterday. We sold it first thing this morning. It's crazy. Um, what kind of stringing stuff? So I always use Softlex. This is going to be backwards for you, but we um, have it in three different sizes. It comes in fine, medium, and heavy. I always use medium for something this weight. Fine is for pearls, um, heavy is for things like, um, sorry, I got itchy nose, um, coral and heavy, heavy stones, but medium is perfect. And then use a two by two crimp. We've got lots of different crimps here. Um, yeah, so that's what I use. I always use Softlex. I find if you cheap out and use the cheaper quality stuff that we don't even carry in the store any longer. Um, that it doesn't have the nice drape. This has a really nice drape to it. it it'll flow nice. Um, when you use the cheap stuff that's only, like this is 49 strands. They've got 49 strands of covered beading wire that they've spun together and it makes this nice flexible beading wire. If you use the cheap stuff that's seven strands, it just doesn't have the same weight to it, right? Oh, <laughs> thanks Sherry. I know, I'm the worst for that. I'm trying really hard not to say negative things though. Ta-da! Thank you, Cindy. That always makes me happy when you say that. It makes me smile. That's my favorite thing to do in the world, is to smile. Smiling and laughing. I like that more than eating, even. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Well, I guess that's about it. So um, I will pop back on next Wednesday for sure. And then, like I said, the week after, I go on my trip. So, you know, I'll do one of my pop-ons after a 12-hour day of driving or something like that, which will be insane, but um, I'll try to do that. So I will definitely see you guys next week. And um, thank you for all the new people that showed up. I see all kinds of new faces and new, new names, and I really appreciate it. Um, thank you for joining in. And um, I will post this online, and I'll put links to all the different things. We ship all around the world, so um, if you're from afar, just let us know and um, we can always uh, send you things. So, alrighty, so thanks again for uh, popping by. Really appreciate it, love you guys, and have yourself a really great week, okay? Take care, bye now. <laughs>